Despite the fact that Santa Fe was the first crossover in the Hyundai family, it turned out to be extremely successful and lasted 12 years on the assembly line. What is the reason for its longevity? This midsize SUV was originally intended for the American market and was even named after a small resort town in New Mexico. Surprisingly, its sales in the US in 2001 went very briskly, despite the inexpressive appearance of the car and the style of the then fashionable biodesign. The whole reason was excellent value for money. Well, everything is clear with the Americans, for them material gain is the main thing. And what about the Europeans and Ukrainians? They also liked the optimal combination of price, quality and equipment. At that time, not like now, a richly equipped all-wheel drive Korean crossover cost about the same as a European small car. That's the whole secret of success. At the end of the career of the first generation Santa Fe and at the beginning of the production of its second generation in 2005, a car with the classic prefix began to be assembled from car kits in Lutsk. If Ukrainian dealers sold the Korean crossover with gasoline fours with a volume of 2.0, 136 horsepower, and 2.4 liters, 150 horsepower, as well as with a 2.7 liter V6, 170 horsepower, then the Lutsk specification included a 2 liter turbo diesel. 112 horsepower, and a gasoline 6 with a volume of 2.7 liters, 173 horsepower. Moreover, diesel versions can be both front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive. The crossover with the flagship V6 came only with a 4x4 transmission and an automatic transmission. By the way, diesel variants were also equipped with automatic transmissions for a surcharge, and nominally a 5-speed mechanics was installed on the Santa Fe Classic Kri. Backslash on the Ukrainian market there are Hyundai Santa Fe brought to us from European countries and from other continents. However, most of all copies of the Korean and Ukrainian assembly, bought new in Ukraine. It is better to buy them, despite the fact that there are complaints about not very high quality assembly and fitting of interior elements from Lutz cars. The simplest versions initially came with air conditioning, power accessories, glasses and mirrors, power steering and central locking. There were many copies with leather interior and automatic transmission. Ukrainian cars had six fixed performance levels. The initial one, with the 2.0-liter turbo diesel and front-wheel drive, had climate control, ABS and power accessories, but did not have airbags. But they were in other versions. The remaining versions, four of the six configurations, are already all-wheel drive, with a 2.0-liter diesel or 2.7-liter V6 petrol, with alloy wheels. The equipment of some is illogical, for example, in one of the richest versions, the interior was not leather and there were no fog lights, although in cheaper versions they were. Used Hyundai Santa Fe may have hidden defects, so diagnostics are necessary before buying them. You should not look for a car with a leather interior or you should carefully check the condition of the seats. The fact is that the leather of far from the best quality was used for the seat trim in this model. She wears out a lot and looks depressing, it is also worth paying attention to the body, which is not particularly resistant to corrosion. The paintwork is completely weak, numerous chips on the front of the case are the rule rather than the exception. On very old copies, the power windows and central locking may be faulty. Often the bulbs of external lighting and in the cabin burn out. 2 liter 4s, 136 horsepower, and 2.4 liter engines, 150 horsepower, are reliable, but demanding on fuel quality. So problems arise with spark plugs and an oxygen sensor that fails after 120,000 minus 150,000 kilometers. The timing belt also needs to be replaced after 60,000 kilometers. Overrun can cause the valves to meet the pistons. True, this rarely happens. But after 100,000 kilometers, adjustment of the clearances in the valve mechanism is required. On unpretentious V6S, the oil changes every 10,000 kilometers, and after 50,000 kilometers, the timing belt but the balance shaft is driven by a reliable chain. Spark plugs with platinum electrodes rarely last more than 50,000 kilometers, but regular ones can be used instead. To replace the candles of the right row of cylinders, it is necessary to remove the intake manifold, otherwise saving on candles will sooner or later lead to the replacement of the ignition module. Turbo diesels require high quality fuel so that the injectors do not fail prematurely. A five-speed manual starts to work poorly over time. In a four-band automatic, the oil changes after 90,000 kilometers. If this is not done, the automatic transmission will switch harder, and then the clutches will burn out. The oil in the mechanics should also be changed every 90,000 kilometers, otherwise the synchronizers will wear out quickly. The fully independent suspension of the Hyundai Santa Fe, even with our roads, is very reliable. Stabilizer struts and bushings often withstand 50,000 kilometers, 
however, on pretty well-traveled specimens, you almost completely have to change the chassis elements. It is not cheap. But the new ones will last another 150,000 kilometers. The engines are endowed with a decent motor resource. True, the gasoline V6 needs regular and fairly frequent, every 10,000 kilometers, service. Both the turbo diesel and the 6 are distinguished by reliability and durability, but are demanding on fuel quality. A clutch kit is usually enough for 100,000 kilometers. After 150,000 kilometers, the machine wears out. The front suspension has McPherson struts. There are no weak points in the chassis, but after 100,000 kilometers of run it must be completely shaken up. The rear suspension is independent, multi-link. During operation, there are no problems with it. Only after 150,000 kilometers it is necessary to change all silent blocks and levers. Corrosion does not reach the metal of the case for a long time, but chips quickly appear on the paint. Often the rear door lock fails. Due to the burnt transistor, the heater motor may break down. The button lights on the front panel burn out. 